Let's add some custom particles to Minecraft. Fortune Fabric courses with advanced topics such as entities, custom structures, and 3D armor models linked in the description below. Alright, we find ourselves back in Intelli once more, and in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom particles to Minecraft, a highly suggested and highly anticipated topic by a lot of people because they don't know how to add custom particles. Now, what I've shown before in previous tutorial series was how to spawn particles, but the actual adding of custom particles, I will admit, is a little more complicated, and we're going to fix this in this video. I'm going to make it very clear on how to do it. In our tutorial mod package, we're going to create a new package called particle and right here we're going to need first and foremost a new class called mod particles mm, what could go in there no one knows and then in the particle package again we're going to make a new package called custom and then inside of there we're going to create one more class and that's going to be the citrine particles so we're going to start with the citrine particles class right here this is going to extend the texture sheet particle there you go. And then we're going to hover over this, implement methods. This is the get render type method. And then we're going to hover over again, create constructor matching super, choosing the second one right here, the second constructor with this. Now I actually have it so that it, it looks a little bit nicer. So I'm actually going to copy over with, you know, proper names here for the parameters because, um, you know, having it all with like P underscore whatever is absolutely terrible. So we're going to actually have to set a few things right here inside of this constructor. But no worries, it's actually not going to be that crazy. So overall, what we're going to do is we're going to do the following thing. So let's just add this and then let's go. So you can see we're setting the friction here to 0.8. We're setting the X, Y and Z to the X, Y and Z right here. This should be the velocity in theory, if I'm not mistaken here. And then the quad size, so we're just basically making the size a little bit smaller. Then we actually set the lifetime right here. This is very important. This is the lifetime in ticks. So how long this particle is being shown in ticks. Right now it's going to be shown in for one second. And then this method here, we definitely have to call this. Otherwise, uh, you know, your whole game crashes. <laughs> That's the general idea of this method right here. And then the three colors here, we're just setting to 111. So basically the actual color of the texture of the citrine particle is going to be shown in this case. So you could also, you know, change this or make it random and make it a little bit cooler. But for the time being, we're just going to keep it like this. The render type is going to return particle type. And then we're going to choose the particle sheet translucent right here. There you go. And then what we'll need is we'll actually need to override the tick method as well. And the reason I want to override the tick method is because I actually created a custom method that fades out this particle. Now, it might be that it, somewhere in the code, you know, there's also some fading out, uh, you know, method here, but I've created this myself. It's just a bunch of math, basically, you know, depending on the age and the lifetime. So this is the entire lifetime and this is the current age, right? We're just basically setting the alpha you know, from one all the way down to zero when lifetime reaches, when age reaches the lifetime. That's the general idea here. And then we're just going to pull it right here, fade out, and that should be that. And now what we're going to need is we are going to need a new Santa class. Now I will be copying this over. All of this is, of course, available to you in the description below, GitHub repository, and individual just as well. And you can see this is just a provider. So this is a particle provider of simple particle type. And it basically just creates this particular particle in this case. And that's actually all that we need in this particular class. Now we just need to register it. And that is also fairly straightforward. So when registering something, of course, we're going to need first and foremost, a deferred register right here, this time of particle type. Uh, and then the type here is a question mark. So this is going to be the particle types equal to deferred register dot create forge registries dot particle types exactly tutorial mod dot mod ID. And I mean, at this point, you can probably say it in your sleep where there is a deferred register. There is a register method with an I event bus calling exactly that deferred register and passing in the event bus right here. There you go. So nothing too crazy. And then let's not forget to call this as well. Mod particles dot register and then passing in the event bus. And there you go. And now we can create the particle. So this is going to be the public static final registry object of type simple particle type called citrine particles and then this is equal to the particle types dot register of course once again citrine underscore particles there you go and then this is actually going to create a new simple particle type passing in true right here so you might be saying wait but 
are we not going to use the the class that we've created? Yes, we are going to create use this and where we're going to use this is in the event package inside of the mod event bus events. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this one over here for the sake of argument because that's going to be a little bit easier and this is going to be actually registering the particle factories and then this is going to be the another event which is going to be called the particle factory registry event there you go and then what we want to call here is actually very interesting we want to call minecraft.get instance dot particle engine dot register mod particles dot citrine particles dot get and then the citrine articles dot provider colon colon new we should get no errors here and it should all work fine so this is what we're going to have to do right there. Very interesting indeed. And what we then also want to do is we want to, well, have a, you know, certain particle being displayed. For that, we're going to go into our assets folder tutorial mod and create a new directory called particles. Make sure that this is particles with an S at the end written correctly. And then here, what we want to do is actually we want to make a JSON file. Now, this might be absolutely crazy, but and it is actually. So let's actually add this. This is the Citrine particles. Of course, the name of the actual JSON file should once again match the name given right here. This one right here, right? And this just uh, determines the textures that it basically points to. Now, what I want is I just want some Citrine particles so that they actually look exactly like the Citrine item. And then it just points to the Citrine. However, and this is very important, this actually looks inside of the textures folder in a particle folder. So we're going to need to make a new directory called particle. And this is very important. This is particle. This is particles. I know it might be very confusing, but it is what it is. So this is particles and the folder inside of the textures folder is particle. And then we can just copy over the citrine right here. So just drag it in while holding control. Then we're going to copy it over that way. And there you go. Now the particle, we would already be able to spawn that with the with a command right with a particle command but i mean come on we're gonna you know go out with style here we want to do the following we're gonna do it when you right click with a dousing rod item then a ring of particles is going to spawn over you know if you find actually something with a dousing rod uh, the ring of particles is going to spawn over the block that you have just clicked and for that i have prepared a method here and you know i'm gonna quickly explain so this is the citrine particles of course there you go i'm gonna quickly explain what this you know crazy thing does so this for loop goes through, as you can see, from 0 to 360, basically making a full circle. That's the idea. So, you know, 0 degrees and then 360 degrees. If you go through that, then you could, in theory, make a circle. And we're basically every 20th degree, so to speak, right? So every 20 degrees, we're basically calling this add particle right here. And by doing the cosine of the degrees right here in the x coordinate and the sine in the z coordinate, what we can basically do with that is make a ring out of it. So it's going to come out of the position that we've clicked. And then by using the cosine and the sine here, we can basically make a, well, a circle of particles. This is just some basic math. So there's nothing too crazy about it. Uh, if you're not, you know, too familiar with it, it's totally fine. Uh, you know, like, like I said, it's just some uh, vector math, basically, with a little bit of, you know, cosine, sine, and some degree stuff in there. So no worry at all. But it is basically going to spawn a circle. And we're going to do this right here. So we're just going to say the spawn found particles and we're going to say this is the p context and then of course the position clicked and that is it so you can also see how are we spawning particles well we just need a level and then call the add particle method right here then we're passing in the actual particles then the position x y and z and then just the speed in all directions so in this case x y and z speed are also determined right here also make sure to call this on the client side right we're on the client side here in this on use on method in this case so that's all fine but make sure to call that on the client side otherwise it's not going to work it might actually crash i'm not 100 percent sure uh, so this is actually a limitation. You will only be able to see this if you are actually right clicking with the actual dousing rod. If you want other people to also see it, you would have to make some networking code and then spawn the particles like that. We're not going to do that here. This is uh, too advanced for us at the moment. We don't want to necessarily deal with this. We just want to, you know, spawn some cool particles and see how they look like. And because this is everything that we need to add, let's see how it looks. All right, found ourselves back in Minecraft. So let's take the dousing rod and let's see if we can find it. And there you go. We are basically spawning some particles. Now, maybe, you know, the size of this is a little bit too big. But I mean, overall, it's still really cool to like see the particles fly out 
and see them so you can always of course adjust the numbers that is something that is very straightforward and easy to do but yeah i mean that's basically how easy it is to add some custom particles to minecraft right to reduce the size here of course we would just change this one right here so maybe something like uh you know 0.15 would be enough or similar to that but overall of course this is something that you can just play around with the numbers are always a thing that i say you know be open to experimentation with try out a bunch of stuff until you find something that you like and then it should be fine right but that would already be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would very much appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated and I'll see you in the next tutorial. So yeah.